year, our champion sailor. Congratulations on your efforts with the Olympic Games this year. You ready for a bit of a relax now? Yeah, definitely. It was. Uh, it's been a tough couple of weeks. Um, it was quite windy down in Weymouth, so I, I, we got all the conditions down there, and it was a, a tough week. But yeah, I'm enjoying the uh, the party at the end of the end of the regatta. You weren't expecting too much wind, from what I hear. Yeah, the first week we had no wind at all and I mean it's pretty typical actually you get a week of wind and a week of no wind and sort of cycles like that so uh, yeah we were a bit sceptical at the start whether the wind was really going to come but in the end it yeah it really did, it was windy. Were you surprised by some of your competition? Yeah, I was actually really surprised by the speed of the Irish girl because uh, in the past she's been pretty fast but um, I think she put a little bit more effort into the um, into her into her sailing and she was she was going pretty fast being six foot and 76 kilos yeah it sort of paid off for her and how do you feel about Tom great gold medal hey oh fantastic that's so good for for Australian sailing um and Tom's such a humble person and he's and he's worked so hard for it you know he came 22nd in Beijing and and for him to then uh, you know turn the tables and and come out with a gold medal is just just fantastic and has that uh, inspired you for Rio Definitely. Look, I, before sort of seeing Tom get his gold and, and seeing how he went from 22nd to 1st beforehand, I was like, oh, I'm not too sure if I'm going to do Rio, but now it's, it's definitely on the cards and, and I don't want to have a break. I pretty much just want to keep doing it straight away and, and get it going. It's been really good having mum and dad. Um, they, came, they came down to Weymouth, so it's a, it's a little bit of a trek down from, from the action of London and uh, yeah, it's always nice to have them supporting me. The village in Weymouth is um, an exact replica of the big one uh, up in London and the, the big one in London for me when I went to the opening was just overwhelming. It was, I, I didn't even know where to look. I got my food tray and I was like, where do I go now? Um, so the little one in Weymouth is a little bit more manageable for me. <laughs> How was the food in the village? Yeah, good. Look, you had a big range of, uh, of, of food. It was uh, always had the typical McDonald's in there and I had to line up for my McCafe coffee and there was a hectic queue for that. Um, but yeah, the food was great. I mean, we had, had all choice. Any treats from home, some Vegemite or Tim Tams or anything like that? Yeah, we got given Vegemite in our pack, which is, you know, a bit of a saviour because uh, after spending three months in Europe, you sort of run out of all your essentials. So it's good to have that, that little bit of Vegemite there. ISTV. Join us for more in this Olympic year.